our robot uh, was in custody, so we didn't have our robot here on Thursday. So it was kind of stressful for us, so the robot was not there, we needed to have another plan and then like the Wild Stands, uh, they came to rescue with, with, a, with their practice robots, so it meant a lot to us to actually play in the first robotics competition because we traveled nine to ten hours for it. unique because it is our twins alliance both wild Stang and team high with identical robots with identical abilities We want to thank Wildstangs uh, especially for, for the robot, for the help, for their support. Wildstangs is forever in our hearts because they helped us compete within this Chicago Regional. So we, yeah, it's the world to us. like Wild Sang and Bomb Squad are going to keep doing what they can do best on that far Red Alliance rocket. That far Red Alliance rocket is awfully close to being completely filled. It looks like Wild Sang will come in with that last hatch panel for your Red Alliance. Point your Red Alliance has completed the Far Red Alliance Rocket, a ranking point at the conclusion of this match. Team 48 would like to gratefully invite Team 111 Lions Team 111 gratefully accepts. All right, here we go. Quarter final two underway.
with this first final match in three, two, one, go! All right, here we go, it's the finals, baby! in this final match in three, two, one, go! And Sandstorm does begin for finals match two. As a reminder, our Red Alliance has the advantage here. They win, they are your champions here at Midwest. Blue Alliance, though, they chose to start all three robots on level one of the half. While that is only worth three points apiece, it looks like it is giving them a jump start on their cargo ship. They're able to place a panel and two cargo during the Sandstorm period. But Red Alliance, they do have an early lead thanks to those extra three points apiece for starting two robots on level two of their HAB platform. Checking out your Blue Alliance, Crobotics, your captain of your number three alliance. They have now placed their third piece of cargo into a Blue Alliance cargo bay. On the blue side of the field, Riverside, they've been playing defense like they've been doing all day long, trying to slow down Crobotics and their alliance partners. Core 2062 from Waukesha, they are on the near side of the field, chasing down Wild Sting. Wild Sting has been placing hatches all day long for this alliance, and Core is keeping track of them, but not quick enough for Wild Sting, who placed two points on the rear Red Alliance rocket and then go back to their loading zone for their human player. Team Elite also grabs cargo from the depot against the Red Alliance station wall. And now the final member of your Red Alliance still playing defense against 5394 Crobotics. Wild Sting collects more and more cargo, brings it back to the ship. It looks like they have accidentally placed two cargo in one bay. So only one of those cargo will count, but they drop off another, extending their lead. But your Blue Alliance, they are about to catch up with just one minute remaining in finals match two. Two points separate red from blue. And we hear more cheering from the crowd as some additional points come up on the board. Still two points. And we still have Riverside pushing up against the Blue Alliance Ironclad. Over on the red side of the field, Core 2062, they are parked in front of a Red Alliance rocket. They are able to move, but possibly struggling to get full control of their robot in our final 20 seconds now. We have entered our end game. And Ironclad of your Blue Alliance, they are up and ready for 12 points for Blue. Our score on the board, just five points of difference. Ironclad is up for 12 points. Only one robot on the Red Hab platform. We're down to our final two, one, two level one, one level two, one level three, and one level one. Your Red Alliance!